That's Wait, true. doesn't have his ulti. The ulti from Alistar being burned is a huge downside to TSM's comp here. What are they going to be able to do? Checking out Amazing. He's on the bottom side. He also has Bomb for a bit of extra either. damage. Not going to be a smite. It's going actually to Vasily on that. There's the initiation. Last breath goes in. Xiao Wei Xiao is forced to walk out of this. A great wall pretty much saves his life. Turtle, he's going to be Chrono Shifted back to life, and we're going to see if he'll be able to do enough damage now. There's the Void who goes out, tries to hit it down to Kathy, and Surprise is going to be focused on to Vasily. He gets hit up, and he actually is put between both oh, of them. Vasily! While Turtle doesn't get damage, Vasily says, King me, goes for another jump, Xiao Wei Xiao beats it in, Vasily gets the pentakill! That may be the earliest pentakill that we have seen. And gonna try the respawns, now they have all five, here comes the fight, the last Nexus turret will go down to Zion's part, and five first five, the last fight for complexity, can they make it happen? West Strice in the front, but he's gonna explode, double kill there for Shifter, explosion, triple kill, Brogashard stuck inside the base, everyone going down except the Lee Sin, Quadra kill for Shifter, will they give it to him? Oh! the kill for Shifter in his first game on Dignitas! Oh shit! Reginald got caught. What's going on? Oh my god, Elements is down. I think he lost Oracle off of that. Dan didn't charge him like crazy. Oh, huge damage. Reg oh my god, Reggie just fucking destroyed them. Dan Dan's going like crazy, doesn't give a fuck. Oh my god, Reggie just quadra killed. He just penta killed. Holy fuck. So, about that, that people are saying, tell me if fucking Middley can answer that damn damage. Here he comes. Is taking oh yes, he redoes. He comes in with the teleport. This is going to be the push for complexity. Ten seconds till Voidboy shows up. They go in. They're going to push down to the turret. You get the push on a lot of mortis. Jackie comes to the front. He flashes. He pops the old MA is trying to run backward. He's going to get stunned though. Where's going to be the damage? MA taking so much pain. He goes down without ulting. Jackie pops Zodia. A lot of mortis is going down as well. They find two for nothing so far. He's now Brunch. You getting crushed out. And the 5v4 team fight goes in Curse's favor. Elements even survives oh! and jumps <laughs> in to try to find Nick Wu. Nick Wu does see Voidboy, but I don't think he's going to get out of this one by any stretch of the imagination. Five for one. Pet to kill as well for cop. Wow. Really want to waste too much crowd control on that. Latimer takes a bit of damage, but they've got positioning now. They could go for this one. Dyrus is in front. Dyrus taking very low. Latimer is still yet to use because the sad mommy. There it is. He goes out. Crescendo hits the entire complexity team, though. Can they turn it around? Wild Turtle out the back, just hitting, hitting one after the other. There's a double kill for him. Latimer goes in. That's going to feed him a triple kill. MIA's done. That's going to be a quadra kill. Can he get the penta kill? Brunch you one on one. It's going to be the penta kill for a beautiful play. Wild Turtle stepping up. Chaos, do you have something to add? right now because your replacement is doing a fantastic job and that is the game for Team Solo Mid. Being turned into say that's one shot carries the binding with him along the room prison rather and they continue into the fight next special he is doing some good defense for his team but goes down in the end they're going to be cleaning this one up all tech with a few more kills a triple kill to end out the game at 704 on his first jinx play in the North American LCS the last shot he gets double lift on the five going for oh! Right there. And they're able to get in. No name. Whoa! Takes a way too much damage there. He only has Merc Treads and a Sight Stone to go in on the fight. Ackerman's getting hit up. They may have just given up their base. Vasily goes down in the end. A huge last breath coming in from Xiao Wei Xiao. Can he get the crits on the Infinity Edge? One going in. That's a double kill coming in from him. It's a pentakill in his eyes. He looks for the hit. He goes to Lust Boy. That's the triple. He's going to get the Quadra. The last hit. He goes oh, for man. There's He's going to be within range. He gets the speed up from the bubble. Definitely a lot, lot more cohesive of a yep. team strategy this time. Controlling vision really well. Using the early power spike to force TSF. All right, here we go. Oh, almost. Santorin wanted it. But he knew the damage would be too much. All there up on the front line. By himself, they lock down Bjergsen. Does he have anything else to say with Cleanse in the fight? He goes back for the shots onto Quas, but he's too tanky to go down immediately. Turtle. Bjergsen forced to Turtle. flash out. Turtle coming up big on the other end of the fight. Deja vu from the oh previous my, map. Does Turtle it. the Trippa. Turtle coming Turtle. in huge with the pentakill. 
All right, so they will be secured and Dexter opts to not go in. Team yeah. Solo mid have got super minions. Going in could have just been the end of the game right there, but look how tanky Dyrus is right now. They're gonna try and get this turret too because they know how low the rest of CLG is. Two inhibitors could be the game. CLG hasn't even looked for an initiation. Tidal wave is available. It does get thrown down. Dyrus turns into a surfer, but it's too late as super minions are through both of the lanes. That's a knock up now from Odd One. Dyrus gets pulled back. If Dyrus is the only victim, this will be a win for TSM. That's a great play! Expecial flashes forward. The culling gets thrown down and Dexter eats most of the hits. He's the first victim and CLG is near. Has respawned. He's back in the fight. He's taken Mundo down. This is turning messy. Bjergsen has got a double kill. Link forced away. That's triple. a triple kill for Bjergsen. Four. That's a quadra kill for Bjergsen. He's looking for the Penta. Can he get it? That's the question. Bjergsen leaves one more hit. That's Go. a Penta kill! Bjergsen grabs five. He puts TSM into a deciding game. Team Solo mid have beaten Council Logic Gaming. Not only does Bjergsen pull out Karma with their backs against the wall, he closes the game out with a pentakill. Are you kidding me? That's why he's the MVP of the North American LCS. Fantastic team fight from Team Solo mid. Baron has worn off in less than four minutes. TSM went from being on the brink of elimination. Wait, has jumped onto Aframu. He immediately needs to get himself out of the fight. Aframu's drop low. Is he gonna throw the box down? That's the question. That's a big heal. Plus the wild growth coming out of Link. Death Sentence catches on Quash. That's Alicia you were talking about. Quash will be the next victim. He gets dropped by the Super Mega Death Rocket. They turn their attention over to Bunny Fufu. That double lift continues melting through his HP. That's a triple kill. He gets excited. The rest of CLG are going onto the Nexus turrets. Unless someone gets pulled out by the death sentence, Boy Boy gets tugged backwards. Kill credit is secured. That is a quadra kill. Oh. Going for the penta. Is it the penta? Is it the penta kill? I found the dive penta kill. Oh, worth it for sure. Double, Double lift. lift. Finally gets a penta. His name in lights. I did not believe that was going to happen. Oh, as we see again, Soul Authority actually coming in. Good route. Here comes Godbro. Thought about getting in there for the fling. It looks like Copenhagen Wolves might be interested in having to go with this one. Is he going to get the fling? It's virtually throws to the side. Freddy gets a Lulu ultimate down on him as the Zyra ulti knocks them all in the air. Slayer being absolutely destroyed as Fence Current comes in as well. There was the Lulu ultimate. It wasn't used earlier on. Bjergsen is going to kill virtual though. Freddy going low. Nigod Pro going low. No, no. He's finished off. Karalius and Freddy are the only two men left alive here. Godbro is still somehow alive in this one as he flings Freddy away again. Can we see Quadra a penta? kill. Can he get the penta kill here? Bjergsen chasing down. Oh, he's missing just about. But there's penta. penta kill coming in for Bjergsen. And Copenhagen Wolves are going to push through here and pick up their first victory in the LCS Europe. After starting nine for zero, or zero for nine, they <laughs> now pick up their first win much deserved victory here they have played absolutely now they just can't do anything we do see edward getting caught right now though oh he flashes the wall and actually manages to juke away from the varus ulti but they've got a 5v4 and it goes back in it's going to be a bunch of damage on the genja frog in the middle finds the loot ult as well there's the unstoppable force used on the genja but he does not go down frog is really under pressure legendary wow. alex finds one two three four oh. is it going to be five i can't actually tell everyone is dead and it is it's a pet to kill to kill for Alex Edge, and that's a good way to do it. Just playing leapfrog out of that one. Able to peel away. Now, the Copenhagen Wolves blew a fair few ultimates. There's no wild growth, there's no crescent sweep, and there's no chain of corruption. And remember, Alex Edge has got very good poke. We'll see who comes out ahead in yet another Baron attempt. The Baron down to half health. There's the mines being thrown out. Bouncing bombs again. Amazing jump straight into the team. He's taken down so quick, though. It's going to be Genja that does the damage. Eddie is taken out of this one. The stun comes out, but look at it. It's a double kill for Genja. Unlimited gets pounced on. Diamond gets himself a kill. It's one. It's a triple kill. He's going to go broad it. But Given goes down. It's a quadra. Can they get the penta? On Yogurt. One more shot! It's, it's a, a pentagon! Genja! And would you believe? Gambit Gaming finally go aggressive! They take victory! <laughs> Flash Dibbers will get them right into there, but Jankos kicked straight away from that one, and the Wolves are ripping them to pieces here. Two kills already, both of them for Forgiven, and he continues through. There's a fall. Can he get the Penta? He flashes in for it, and there is the Penta kill coming down for Forgiven. Reckless. They had to replace him with someone, didn't they? No one really expected that he'd be as good as Forgiven. This far down, 
Very difficult to see how you'd survive. Death Sentence goes out, connects with Youngbuck. Tower's being secured in the background, and Youngbuck is gonna get dashed on. Chumba Waters connects on Woolite, the best target possible. The exhaust was used on Peke, so damage was reduced. First kill secured by Reckless. We do see that's a double kill as he sidesteps the cocoon, looking for the triple. Reckless is, is on the triple. He's looking for Robishon. That's the quad He's looking for five. Tower's down the back for the Penta kill in the summer split. Fnatic, 18 to 8. They are dominating Copenhagen Wolves. And Reckless has just been part of everything here, picking up kills.